This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm sitting here chatting with Laith Matthews, the founder of Make Business Hub, a co-working space in Dubai. Laith, how are you? Uh, good, thanks. How are you? Good. How are things in Dubai today? It's great. It's great. It's Thursday here, so it's the last day of the week. Uh, can be a little bit of a quiet day for us. Uh, a lot of a lot of the, the young business people in Dubai maybe like to take the afternoon off. Um, but it's good. Everything is good here. Um, tell me about Make Business Up. Tell tell our Wanda viewers uh, how you came up with the design and the concept. How you thought about the food, the table layout. Yeah. Okay. Make Business Hub, um, it's essentially, it's, uh, it's a new concept, definitely to Dubai, um, and quite a new concept for the region. Um, the, the, the idea first came to me, I was, uh, I was working in, in a brand management role uh, as, a, as a marketer, but, but thinking, I was think, pretty much actively thinking about getting out of it and getting into business for myself. Um, I found myself sitting in a lot of cafes, a lot of, uh, a lot of restaurants that had decent Wi-Fi, working on, on different plans. Um, and that's when I first came up with the idea that uh, a space like this could definitely be needed and could be a, a commercially uh, successful business if executed correctly. Um, what I've done with, uh, with Make is, is created a, a food and beverage business. So it's a hospitality venture. Um, so, so what that means is on the, on the very front foot, we are a cafe. Um, so like you said, we have, we have a menu, we have, we have food and beverage which we, we have created a style of, style of food which is very healthy, very light, um, kind of suited for people who are, who are working or, or conducting meetings uh, on the go. Um, but then we've, we've, we've created the cafe to be, to be to urban and some, 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 something that fits between um, a, a work office environment and a, and a more casual kind of hangout space. Um, yeah, so that, that, is, that is make business up in a in a sentence or two. How has the business taken off since you launched this February? Um, do you feel like you're competing directly with places like the Pavilion? Do you tend to see people becoming loyal to Make or loyal to Pavilion? Or do you feel like you're offering something completely different? I think I, think I, I would have a competitor in the Pavilion in terms of maybe on a day-to-day -day basis someone could choose to go Either there or here to make, um, but it, I don't feel it's a it's a competitive um, relationship that I, I see as negative. I think uh, on a whole, uh, the pavilion is part of a movement in Dubai or in the in the region. I'm part of a movement um, that we, we kind of benefit from each other's awareness. Um, uh, I have a lot of people who that's the first question I will get, especially when I first began, was, "Or oh, are you like pavilion?" And I think that's that's great. There's people have an understanding of already where I'm coming from, at least the direction of where I'm coming from. Am I am I building a, a loyal uh, customer uh, base and following? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, 70, 75 percent of my clientele are repeat uh, repeat business, repeat clientele, and it, and and the word community is really fitting because people are, people know each other within within the four walls of Make and. Um, the connections which are uh, happening here are, are, are true to what, what, they're, what they're meant to be. People are meeting, uh, they're sharing details, you know, I do this, you do that, let's work together on this project or something that's coming up. Um, so the, so the, the, the micro uh, uh, ecosystem that exists within Make is, is kind of working. Um, so hopefully we can, we, can, we can then become something a bit bigger in, in Dubai. You've now launched this series of TED Talks. You have a monthly series called Ignition to inspire digital entrepreneurs. Uh, how do you envision Make's role in the tech entrepreneurship community in Dubai? I think Make Ignition, uh, which is the tech entrepreneurial event which, which we've launched, is really exciting. Um, what we do with Make Ignition is we kind of turn the tables of, of, of conventional uh, eventing, where rather than industry experts up on stage presenting and we are listening it's rather make ignition is is all about young um, ambitious uh, tech entrepreneurs or someone creating an application or a website or business online um, presenting what 
what they're doing right now. So it's just about to launch, just launched, um, to receive expert advice from our from an expert panel that we pulled together. Um, and it, it's and it, to, to be fair, we've done we've done two so far to to a really a full full audience of of of, of eager participants, and it's um, it's really exciting. Um, what we're trying to do with Make Mission is is to create a culture of collaboration where people are more more likely to talk about their ideas, talk about what they're working on, um, and, and, and what I believe is, is the more we're talking about it, um, the more likely we're, we'll be starting to make more things online uh, in, the, in, the, in the tech scene. The talks, uh, the, uh, Dinner with Ted, uh, as we've coined it, uh, where we're hosting that next week, and this is, this is more social. This is a, an opportunity for, for people to meet, to sit on a table, to engage over, over dinner. Um, we'll have some uh, talks present, presented on the big screen. Um, just to just to spice up the conversation. And more than anything, we're just you know uh, we're, we're recreating that uh, social environment, uh, a hub where, where where people with interesting ideas can meet and make new friends, basically. Talk to me about the challenges of starting up a co-working space. Was it difficult to raise the startup capital? Was it difficult to register? Whether it was there anything particular to Dubai that made it tricky? I think I think starting any small small business is you know you go you go through your uh, challenges you, you have your hurdles um, raising capital for the idea I I did that all independently through through channels and through people who I had direct contact with um, and I was lucky enough to, to find a, uh, a partner for this business who was who, who shared who shared a similar vision for, for creating the make make concept. Um, Going through the kind of the the, the, the legal process of, of registering the business, this is a new um, a, a co-working space or, 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 or a location for mobile workers that combines food and beverage and, and elements of, of of office. Is um is I think it's still new. I think it's still new to, to the region. Um, so that's something that you. You do have to explain. You do have to work through slowly um, to make sure that you're doing it, and, and you need to to make sure you're you're doing it in the correct way um, to fit under the, the correct bracket of the of the license that you take. Um, it was a learning process for me. It was, it, this is the first business that I've set up uh, for myself. Um, it was a long process. It, it, it ran a lot longer than I expected, um, and cost a little bit more than I I, I expected. Um, but but all in all, it's possible. Um, and, if, and if you push through it and, and learn from it, then you can, you can certainly uh, you can certainly make business here in Dubai or or in the region. Yeah, I've I've been hoping someone will start a hub in Ramallah, and there's a group here that wants to start the hub concept in Beirut. Um, and we've seen co-working spaces come online in uh, Cairo. I'm really hoping someone will start one in Amman. It desperately needs one. Um, I'm curious, you know, what would you advise someone who wants to launch a co-working space? Is there anything that particularly surprised you or something that you think someone should know before they launch this kind of you know, food and beverage and co-working space? Now, the tricky part is, is, is cracking the model, um, cracking the concept. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's, it's not an easy one, and it's, it's one that I guess I'm still coming to terms with, meaning where... Where does the, the hub or the, the business hub, you know, how does that work as a, as a successful business itself? Um, so understanding where is the value for the for the consumer or the user, and, and, and where's the where's the revenue return for the for the operator? Um, so my model, is, as as you rightly put it, is, is a food and beverage business. We we uh, you know especially we offer good service, good food, um, and create a, a an environment that allows the, the mobile worker to, to concentrate on what they're doing and be, be uh, productive. This is not the only model, and I would suggest you know whoever was thinking about creating a co-working space in whichever region they are, take a really hard look at um, at their at their target market, their their consumer in the region, and then understand um, how, what what these people would really most what what would they most appreciate. Would it be less food and beverage and more more, more desk space, or, or vice versa, and just, just really understand. Is, is it more of a memory of uh, pay per hour type deal? There's many, many, many different ways you can look at it. Um, 
and then cr- and then create the, the right ambience, the right environment, and uh, and you have every chance of success. I would say. Well, Leigh, thanks so much for chatting with us at WAMDA. And I look forward to seeing Make Expand and more collaborations between co-working spaces. I hope so, definitely. I hope to see you soon here at Make or, or next time I'm, uh, I'm over there. Absolutely. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.